I mean, look at this guy. He looks awesome. Welcome to the video. Today is another Watcher of Rome videos. I'm Apocalypto. We're going to go over the one and only hex guide you'll ever need. Starting with hex, we're going to go straight from the top all the way down the bottom to the side. Let's check it out. Start with these attributes over here. Right now, he is a 60 out of 60. I've already got him maxed out all the way we can with promotions, with uh, experience and everything. He is maxed out as far as you can go with that. All right, let's check him out. Madness Incarnate says Hex's bag of tricks is as varied as a deck of cards, and he always keeps one up his sleeve. All right, the attack range is pretty nice. Looks like you get that additional two on the side here. Really like that. That can make or break, uh, you know, depending on where you're putting him, right? Uh, magic Marksman, one of the only, I think the only Magic Marksman. Everybody else is Piercer, I believe. Uh, he has random skill effects. That's right, from his cards. So we'll, we'll get to that in a second. And Anti-Air. Obviously, he's a Marksman. That's what he does best. All right, he got some pretty good HP. Attack's not too shabby. Then if you go down, his uh, attack intervals. Uh, are, are pretty nuts. Well, I, I got some gear on him, and let's go to that next. Well, let's go to let's go to promotion next, right? I got him all the way across. Promote him up. Promote everyone you get up, but do it for the events. Don't waste it. Do it for the events. Gear. All right. Now we could always have better gear on him. This is not the best gear. I'm still working on gear, but look at these stats, right? Again, you don't want to necessarily look at these stats and make a determination. You want to push this little little lock on here and look at your total stats and make a determination of what type of gear you need to be putting on this guy. So his attack is 38, let's see, 336. So I need only about 7,000 attack to make it, you know, give or take 200%. And I already have up to 11, so I have a little extra. I was able to get the attack interval down by 50%. It wasn't two seconds. I got it down to one second, right? My attack speed is up to 504. Now that right there is nice. The fastest set of gear that I have. Outstanding attack speed. All right. Got his attack rate at 90. Be better at 95, 97. But 90 is not too shabby. We're going to roll with that. And then with all of his crit damage up to 228. That would be better around 290 or so. But again, better gear gives you better results. So we're going to look at that. And then, you know, I already have the Rage Regen of 14. So not too shabby. This guy is insane. Is insane. Let's go over the skills. Gains one card of fate with each attack. When having four cards, the hero has a chance to randomly obtain, acquire, or randomly acquire one card from the following. Temperance, death, and strength. Dealing damage, or dealing extra damage to airborne units. Let's see what this temperance is. Temperance throws three cards, each dealing 140% damage while inflicting a 75% slow for five seconds. Jeez. All right, what's this death about? Like it gets worse? <laughs> Death deals 500% damage one time and inflicts burning for five seconds. Good God. Strength. Increase attack by 30% and attack speed by 70 for 25 seconds. Ooh, this guy's a beast, man. Oh, look at that. Let's, let's look at the ultimate. Does he even need it? I mean, look at this little video here. Boom. Look at that. He's just throwing. No, he's shooting the cards. Yeah, with his bow. Shooting arrows, shooting cards, something. He's messing them up, though, man. Laying them down. All right, it says, when triggered, increase damage by 120% and attack speed by 100. Reduces attack interval by 50 seconds and replaces all cards with the Joker. This effect can last for 30 seconds. What is the Joker, you may ask? That's what I asked. Let's find out. The Joker deals 400% damage three times and inflicts burning for five seconds. Basically just destroys everybody and, and puts them on fire. That's what that is. Jesus, it just keeps getting better. All right, let's go for his basic attack. Deals 110% magic damage to one enemy, prioritizing airborne units. Also good. I mean, he's obviously a marksman. That's what they do. Each attack launch has a 15% chance to inflict stun on the target for two seconds. Damage to targets 
under control effects such as stun, freeze, immobilize state is increased by 50%. Damage is increased by 50% if he hits one of these dudes in, in, in a messed up phase. You know what I'm saying? When they're trying to get somewhere and even hit something like that's that's a, that's a rough time, man. When triggering by receiving damage, resists the incoming damage and gains invincibility for three seconds. This effect can only be triggered once every 46 seconds. Now this dude can't die either. Come on. See, everybody's talking about nerfing Glorious, but nobody wants to nerf this dude. I mean, this is insane. I love it. Don't get me wrong. But this dude is insane. Hashtag no nerf right there. Let's move on to the next. The Awakenings. All right, this is where you get serious. If you're, if you're a serious player and you got some A1s, A2s, or a bombs, you're a beast. Let's see how big of a beast you are. Said enhanced A1. During the effect of Mad Truth, there is a chance to draw the Fool. Uh-oh. Deals 500% damage three times and inflicts 75% slow and burning for five seconds. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. I think Ivy Lee just got the A1 on this too. That is insane. Draws the Fool. That's even bigger, uh, better than the Joker. The Joker was 400. Like 400 wasn't enough. You know what I mean? Like that's insane. A, a three attack plus three hundred. I mean that's that's all right. Well, whatever. Uh, Awaken three during the effect of Mad Truth, performing basic attacks against targets inflicted with burning extends the duration of Mad Truth by one second. Oh man, it's just you pumping out massive, massive damage, massive damage. Especially if you're on fire, you're getting damaged like crazy. Penetration plus five for the A four. A five. Each draw returns one cloud of fate and increases each damage dealt to the Joker and the full. Jesus, <laughs> what are you going to do? Wipe the board? <laughs> oh, that's insane. That is insane. All right, guys. Last one but not least, we're going to go over the artifacts. This right here, my friend, increased damage dealt to the same target by 7% with each consecutive hit up to three times, however. The effect will disappear if the hero switches to a different target. This is outrageous because he attacks very fast and he does a lot of things where it's two and three times at uh, uh, two and three attacks at a time, like the cards he was speaking of. That right there is like a, a golden piece for this guy. But no worries. I know artifacts can be hard to come by sometimes, especially during the early game. If you so happen to be lucky to get this guy early game, I'll give you a secondary artifact to check out as well. Let's go. Some people say go with the Idril. I'm not a huge fan of that just because it has a chance. I'm, I'm not all about the chance. But what I am about is this guy here. Reduces the max HP by 30% and increases crit damage by 20. Now, this is good, assuming that you have your gear and your crit rate up to 90, 95, 100, you know, close to 100 as you can, right? 95 ish. Um, assuming you have it that close, every single freaking attack you have is going to be doing that 20% extra damage on top of the already existing 228% damage you have here. So just further increasing what you already have. But ideally, the best one is the uh, Spirit Siphon. You're going to get the best results off that because of the stacking myth. All right, guys, that's heck. That's everything I have to give you today. Till next time, join me in my next video. We'll go over the next one. I think I'm going to do Torador next. Check this out. Uh, if you go down here, he's only, he's fresh, brand new. Look at this guy. He got nothing on him. If you enjoyed that video, guys, check out my channel here or my latest video here. Till next time, APOC out.